What's going on guys, Ryan Jetta Patrol back. Another video today, I have something that I've been wanting to add to the collection, the printing process for a while now. And I've got something here that's pretty stinking cool. So uh, Z-Banks website, I'll put a link for them in the description below. They uh, reached out to me and said, hey, would you like to check one of these out? And I said, uh, well, yes, please, I would. But I want something large enough. I need a large one. I, ha I have a smaller filament printer. I have some resin printers. I didn't have a large format filament printer because I have a project I wanna do and we'll make some future videos about that project. But let me tell you about it just briefly. I have recently moved out to the country and spoiler, my wife is not on board with this. Just spoiler. I moved, recently moved out to the country and there's people out in the farmland. They've got like scarecrows and they've got old cars. They got diff different things out in, the, in their fields and whatever. And I thought it would be kind of cool to have a life-size clone trooper in the front yard, maybe holding some signs, maybe doing some silly things, maybe farming, doing whatever. Just, just having some fun out there, uh, which my wife is definitely not on board with whatsoever, but but we're gonna do it anyways. We're gonna have some fun with that. I, I gotta figure out what we're gonna do with that. But I needed a, I didn't wanna do it in resin because I thought that would take forever. I wanted a large format filament printer so I would be able to do that. And I believe this is absolutely gonna help me on that process of making that life-size clone trooper. So let me know in the comment section down below which clone trooper armor I should build, right? So I've already started on some of it, and spoiler on that one. Um, but this is the longer LK5 Pro. This thing is humongous, and I, I, I've i had it for a couple weeks now, and I'm having a lot of fun with it, uh, printing different things. I've tested uh, a couple different things. I'll show those to you in a little bit. Uh, just a little bit about the size. One, it's flipping huge. I mean, you can see it like it's, it's, it's large, right? And I actually have the specs right here because I really don't want to mess that up. Uh, that way I can tell you guys exactly what it's all about. So it has a 300, the build plate right here, 300 by 300 by 400 millimeter build plate. Now, if you're wondering what the hell that is, you don't want to go do the math. It is 11.8 inches this way and 15.7 inches this way. So it goes tall. You can actually print life-size helmets on this print bed, uh, which is exactly what I intend to do because I like my helmets. I print now, I buy a lot of helmets. I figured, why not just make my own? I think that would be kind of cool. So stay tuned for that. Uh, we do have uh, all metal construction. All this stuff's here. You've probably still haven't seen the unboxing segment here, but uh, there's a lot of stuff going on here. Uh, filament uh, holder off to the side. LCD screen has a 4.3 inch LCD screen uh, on the front there, and it works pretty freaking well. Full color works well. I've had this thing for a couple weeks, and I have printed a few things on it. Uh, and I have made some mistakes, which are all operator error on my part. Let's talk about that first one, uh, which would be this right here, which is a Republic Commando helmet. I got this file way back when from Galactic Armory uh, on their Etsy or Patreon or somewhere. I don't remember where, but I got it from them. And uh, this, actually, this whole thing fit right here on the build plate. And it was printing so lovely until I messed up. And uh, I needed to replace the filament. I paused it. Uh, Went to reload it, got it reloaded. No, no issues with that. There's a uh, an auto stop function on here. So if your printer runs out of filament, it automatically pauses the print and waits on you to reload filament, which is very nice because I can absolutely see me forgetting to do that a lot, especially these larger prints I got going on. So I very much like that. Loading it, uh, uh, unloading the old filament, loading the new filament in there was a pretty quick process. No problem with that whatsoever. It worked beautifully. Uh, it's actually very simple. You just have this little uh, unload button here on the LCD. It unloads it, backs out the filament, uh, and reloads the filament in there, the new one, and heats it up and starts back off wherever you want to start off at, wherever it ends up. So that worked very well. Unfortunately, I made the mistake of somehow, I don't even know how I did this, but I actually, when I was loading it in or moving it or doing something, I pushed down on uh, the Z-axis bar here and uh, I got it out of alignment. So then it wouldn't finish. It was like dripping, you know, filament in the air. It was just, it wasn't going, it wasn't going that great. So I just canceled it and, and go from there. But that's hundred percent on me uh, for uh, moving this when I shouldn't have. And I, I don't even know what I did, but I did it. Uh, but I do have this Republic Commando helmet from Galactic Armory and I will be doing uh, the rest of it. I did do a test piece here uh, and I did not do the back of it, but the entire helmet will pretty much fit on this build plate 
uh, very well. The print lines on it are nice. I don't have any issues with that. Obviously with any filament printer, you're gonna have sanding to do to finish work and paint work. And I'm perfectly fine with that. But this one actually did pretty nice job on the print lines. I really don't have too many issues with that. So I did print this guy right here and uh, I thought it turned out pretty well. And I do plan on finishing the Republic Commando helmet because you know, I think that would be kind of kind of fun. So I do have, I have that. I also, I got another diorama piece because I wanted a six scale um, Kyber crystal crate and I found one online and I bought the files and I got them right here. In fact, I'll put a link for the files down there or for the website, the Instagram. It's Galaxy Diorama on Instagram. They had this Kyber crystal uh, container here and I've printed different parts and I haven't finished it because I wanted to show you guys the unfinished product uh, before I went and painted it up and sanded it and all that kind of stuff. But I had, you guys know I love my Rogue One and in Rogue One they had the hover tank and they had the kyber crystals on the back or the containers on the back, the orange containers. And inside they were extracting the kyber crystals from, uh, from Jetta. And uh, there's a piece in there, get out of here. Uh, anyway, so I got this piece right here. It is super cool, the detail on it is great. There's a couple little, little lines in here where I, I'm not sure exactly what happened with it. When you can see just different variations in the filament as the layers went, went kind of there. I'm not sure why that is. Uh, I only see it on one side, uh, so I don't know why, but after some sanding goes down, I don't really think it's gonna be too big an issue. Uh, but having some arabesque on the front, I think that came out pretty well in the detail. And overall, a great file from them. And I look forward to finishing that after uh, I get back from a little trip I gotta take. But uh, I, I very much like this thing. It is solid. It does take up a decent amount of room. All right, so if you want something large format, Going to take up a decent amount of room, uh, but we do. I like I said, 11.8 inches, 15.7 inches tall, armor pieces. I mean, just whatever you want to print on here, it's going to work just fine. It's not terribly loud, which I very much like that. I'm a fan of that because I've had some other printers in the past that were very loud. The motors and you hear them zipping across and whatever. No issues with that whatsoever. It does come with these support rods here, so you got the. Uh, this axis right here, it, you don't have any like movement or anything, so that's that's fairly nice. And overall, it's very easy to use. Now, I did use uh, Ultimaker Cura uh, to get the files loaded in there, uh, slice the files, add supports, all that kind of fun stuff. It was super simple. In fact, they give you a little mint micro SD card uh, slot that goes on the back over here. Uh, it's a micro SD slot right there, and you just add the, the drive in there and you can load whatever you want to print. No issues with that whatsoever. And overall, I'm pretty freaking happy with this thing. The only thing I would like to see is uh, I need more of them so I can print the armor plates faster or whatever I want to plate, uh, print. Uh, this piece right here, let's see here, this helmet piece right here was set to take three days, which is not terrible, uh, not terrible at all, but uh, I'm not sure if there, I could have done something to, like in the settings to make it go faster. Uh, probably could have done something, adjusted the layer height or whatnot, but I wanted to see kind of what it looked like out of the box with the settings that were recommended. Um, so I did that, took about three days, and then of course I messed it up and uh, it would have been a lot better had I not done that. Speaking of helmets, you guys know I like my helmets. I wanted to find something to display them with and Galactic Armory also had this file on there. I think it was like five or eight dollars for this file to get a helmet stand. So 3D printed the base in this Imperial design on the uh, on the longer LK5 Pro. It was, it was beautiful, it didn't take that long at all. And I plan on printing quite a lot of these. I got a seven eighths inch dowel rod to support it. And there's a topper piece on here for the helmet. So check out that file, I'll put a link down there for you as well. Uh, and I'll probably be uh, making a lot more of these for display, but the detail on this thing is perfectly good. I have no issues with it whatsoever. A little bit of sanding, a little bit of paint work if you wanna get particular. This type of project, I don't even know that I'm gonna bother sanding or painting it. Oh, I might paint it, I might paint it black. But other, other than that, I think it did a really good job on that and I plan on printing a lot of these in the future. So after spending a couple of weeks with the longer LK5 Pro, I would absolutely recommend this thing. I think it's a great piece of equipment if you wanna get into 3D printing. The cost wise, it's less than 300 bucks for something this large, which is great value. I've definitely seen some other ones. I spent a good bit more than that for a larger format resin printer and it's not even close to this size, it's, it's crazy. However, 
If you want to print stuff large, helmets, cosplay pieces, armor pieces, uh, you know, diorama pieces, whatever you want to do for your six scale world, or even quarter scale world if you want to go crazy, um, you can do that as well. This is an absolutely cool piece to check out. So yeah, that's today's video, guys. I hope you like this. If you want to check out one of these, let me know. Also, let me know what else we should print. Let me know what else we should print right here. As always, click what you like. See you next time.